Hey, welcome back to the channel and welcome to another Chromebook tutorial. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to install LibreOffice on your Chromebook. Now, if you don't know what LibreOffice is, it is a free, fully featured Office suite, it's pretty much compatible with Microsoft Office, but it's just another one of those pieces of software that just adds a ton of functionality to your Chromebook. Now, there's two different methods, both use Linux beta. The first one will install a older version, but it's super easy. The second version uh, takes a few more steps, it's still not hard, but it will give you the newest version of LibreOffice. Now, for Linux beta, I'm gonna show you real quick how to do it in the tutorial, but if you have any more questions about that, I'll put a link up here to a video that I did. If you have any questions or comments along the way, leave those down in the comment section and let's get right into the tutorial. All right, so here we are on our Chromebook desktop and we're gonna get LibreOffice installed on here, but the first thing we need to do is turn on the Linux beta support. So just go into your settings, go into the developer options and turn it on right here. Now, if I'm going too fast through this. I have a whole video dedicated to this. I'll put a link in the corner and down in the description. Just go and check that out. It'll walk you through all these steps. But just get Linux Beta installed if you don't have it installed already, and then we'll go on to the next step. So Linux Beta is all installed, and like I said, there was two methods to do this. The first one is gonna be super easy, and all we're gonna do is type in sudo apt install LibreOffice. That's gonna go and get it from the default repositories. Just hit yes here. This takes a really long time to install, so don't worry about it. Now this is super easy. This is all you're gonna have to do for this version, but as I'll show you in a second, it installs an older version of the software. So just let this run, and then uh, we'll come back when it's all installed, and I'll launch it up and show you the version and everything, and then we'll go on to the next method. All right, that's it. At this point, we have LibreOffice installed and we can launch this a few different ways. We can type LibreOffice here. We can go into our menu and go all the way down to our Linux apps folder here. And we see LibreOffice and all the applications that get installed with the LibreOffice suite. Or we can just hit the everything key and start typing in LibreOffice and get into them. So if we want to go into the writer, which is the equivalent of Word, we can just click that and it'll launch right up. Give it a second here. And here we are. We have a fully featured uh, word processor here that's compatible, mostly compatible with Microsoft Office. Now, just to show you this, the version, if I go into about LibreOffice, it's 6.1.5.2. Now, this is a, a little bit older version of LibreOffice. It's actually a couple years old now as of the time of this video. So this is great and it works just fine, but if you want all the advancements and everything, then we're gonna use this next method that I'm gonna show you. All right, so now we're ready for the next method and just to show you real quick, I did uninstall LibreOffice. So LibreOffice is not installed on here anymore. Just show you one more time if we go into Linux apps, it's not in that folder anymore. So the next method that we're gonna use is using something called Flatpak. Now Flatpak is a packaging method for Linux that lets you dis deliver apps to pretty much any uh, machine that's running Linux regardless of what type of Linux it's using. And it's really good for using on Chromebooks because it allows us to easily get the most up-to-date version. So what we're gonna do is I have opened a couple of sites here. I went to the flatpak.org site and they have instructions for getting it set up on a Chromebook. Now it starts off with just setting up Linux beta, which I already showed you, but we're gonna start at this point. We're just gonna copy this command. Now be really careful when you copy commands from websites, make sure they're reputable websites when you're using it with Linux beta because you can get into some trouble uh, if not. But I assure you Flatpak is a reputable website. So we're just gonna type that in and then hit yes there and just let this run. This'll take just a few seconds here. And we're all done there. So now Flatpak is set up, but we need to add a repository that tells the system where to look for the application that we want to install. And we're just gonna do that right here. We're gonna copy this whole line and we're gonna paste it in here and hit enter. So now we have Flatpak installed and we have the repository set up. We have to tell Flatpak that we want to install LibreOffice. Now the easiest way to do that is to go to flathub.org 
and find the application that you want to install. In this case, we wanted to ins install LibreOffice. And if you scroll down to the bottom, it tells you how to install it. So again, we're just gonna copy this line and we're gonna paste this. And don't worry, I'll have all these commands in the description as well. So it's gonna go and find it uh, and it's gonna ask you if you're sure you wanna install it, just hit yes. This is gonna show you everything that is gonna be installed with this package, hit yes again. And again, just like with the uh, other method, this is gonna take quite a while to install. Just let this install. As long as you see that percentage going up and the time changing, you're in good shape. Just let it go until it finishes and then I'll come back at that point. All right, once again, we have LibreOffice installed and once again, we can launch it in a whole bunch of different ways. One thing that's really nice is with the recent versions of Linux beta, they now put the FlatHub applications into the Linux apps uh, folder. Before you had to make a custom launcher, it was such a pain in the butt, but now they put it just right, right in there, just like any other Linux app. So we can do the same thing. We can type in LibreOffice. Let's go and launch writer again and let this pop up. All right, and here we are in LibreOffice writer. Now you may notice that it looks quite a bit different and that's because it's a much newer version. If we go in, and go to about again, we can see that we're now on 7.1.4.2 and all the goodness that that gives us, you can do all kinds of stuff like change the, the ribbon to a bunch of different, like a tab format, like in Office or you know however you want to set it up. You can do a dark theme, all kinds of cool stuff. So this is a fantastic Office suite. It's absolutely free and using one of those two methods, you can very, very easily get it on your Chromebook. So there you go. That's two different ways to get LibreOffice installed on your Chromebook. There are other ways to do this, like using Snap or something like that. So if you have a way that you prefer, please let me know down in the comment section uh, what that way is. I'm always curious to hear how other people are doing this. If you found this useful or informative, please hit that thumbs up. If you really like this video and you want to see more like this, make sure you hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you get notified when I put up new videos. Thanks so much for stopping by and I'll see you in the next one.